I have a lady with me that is actually, you've adopted a First Nations blood tribal yes. member. Half. I, I'm just curious, like, like you were telling me, like, how did you get, like, because you know, like, go ahead. Um, I mean, well, basically, I mean, bottom line, I couldn't have kids. So instead of going through in vitro and going through all that process, Should I, take that one I that? you know, decided the better thing was, was to adopt. Um, so we went through a private agency um, out of um, Mesquite. And three months into it, met his birth mother, his birth father. His birth mother was actually First Nation. She was full blood. Birth father was Hispanic out of LA and met with them, they chose us. And I always tell my son, he chose us. And she ran from being native though? She went back and forth. Okay. She, um, she like I said, she had four, five kids in, in Canada. Heroin addicted? Um, she became heroin addicted with the last child only because of the, the situation I got with the boyfriend that she had that is my son's father and his little brother's father was she always was looking for that white picket fence family. Uh, it's under the Indian Child Welfare Act from U.S. tribes. You wouldn't have been able to get like oh. that child. Oh no, I, I remember, know that. Like you, I remember you telling me that. Yeah, like, if it's a federally recognized tribe, they have the right to step in, which I'm totally in agreement with. I don't know, right? Yeah. And, yeah. But I, you know, I'm, I'm very thankful that I get to meet people like you in my life that, you know, can expand that knowledge that I have because it's something that I can't give him. Uh, does he still have his real name though? Like what? No, he was, he was actually named Baby Boy Little Shields at the hospital. Yep. So when we adopted him, we renamed him and his name Samuel Isaac. Yeah, because my mom, my mom gets called Becky. And whenever she was in, uh, <clears throat> what is it? When she was in a, a group home, there was yeah. a boy that just kept calling her Becky. So the adopted family started calling her like Rebecca Lynn and then yeah. Roach, though. But like she goes by Becky Smallwood, but her birth name is Ethelene Joyce, not afraid. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he knows. He, I, I have never shied away. He, he knows what his birth parents look like. I have always shared pictures of him with them when he was an infant in the hospital. Um, the other adoptive family, they were more in tune with him, with yep. her, um, before she died. Yep. And basically what happened is she would go back and forth with this guy and wanted the white picket fence and he promised her that. And then she'd get pregnant and he'd stay with her like, he would only stay with her when she was pregnant because she was giving the baby up for adoption. Yep. So he got taken care of. Man, but what is your expanse knowledge though? Because I remember that you talked that you actually knew a little bit of like the Blackfoot Confederacy. Because yeah. you know that they're Pi Gans, they're blood tribe. Yeah. And uh, it's yeah. just been through connections, just talking to people like you. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. being able to meet people in my in my life. I was it was a uh, the first blood member I met that told me the history was a guy that did artwork that was out here for Cowboy Christmas. Yeah about 12, 13 years ago that I was admiring his artwork and I was saying, and it was native artwork and I was admiring it and I said something to him about my son being native. I'm always just, you know, if I ever meet anybody, I'm like, oh, my son's half native, my son's half Canadian. You know, I, I want him to know that part because it's not something I can give him. And I'm a white girl. He's obviously not. Yeah. And you know when we're when we're out together, people just automatically assume that I married a Hispanic man. And I'm like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> no, he gets all these looks from his birth mother, <laughs> and then they go, huh? Yeah, from a lot of Indian country, I want to say thank you though, and uh, you know You're try to well. try to encourage though that like uh, I was trying to tell you about that Sundance and uh, Sweat Lodge though, and yeah. you know you have my. Yeah, no, I need to get your 